of them. They're they're both well done and completely different from each other. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a little freezing on the stream here. It seems to be having a little bit of lag. I restarted, so. Yep, it seems to be back now. Okay, I turned the multi-core off again. In some dimensions it does pretty well, and in others um, it, it doesn't. Yeah, I, I noticed that um, you've had to turn your multi-core off a lot when you're in a dimension that seems to be higher up. Um, you did it in the treehouse too, I think. Yeah, I think I did. I. Uh... I gained like 10 it's probably minutes. just the the sur the surrounding rendering and stuff because you're higher up you can see more maybe yeah I, I don't know but I know like in foxy's I gained um, I gained about 15 FPS turning it on that, that was a pretty dramatic shift I don't notice too much of a difference with it in like the cities. Um, it's always in the dimensions that I notice the biggest uh, up or down, especially um, the first day we got it on what was it Wednesday. I turned it on in um, a couple of the big guild dimensions that I'd done and just the, the difference was really dramatic. I've been reading the threads and, and a lot of people are saying they're not really seeing that much of a change but in the in the big dimensions especially the ones that are loaded with effects it's like wow you can really tell the difference oh there's a tightrope out here I do like the dancing yeti <laughs> and I like the shelving that um, et et Ette has in here and for butchering the name, I'm so sorry. I like these, um, these stars on the wall up here. in this, this bed morph. And I really like this planner here with the mining cart. It was nice to see um, some of the old domino pieces. Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen those yeah. uh, for a while now. Yeah, there's, there's, like I said earlier, there's a lot of items that you don't see very often that anymore or at all. Um, like the, the fly trap things and um, the granite wood stumps and stuff like that. And those are in a lot of these dimensions. Oh, diva, diva, diva. From here, we're going to go to Wolfsbane. My home shard! I'm pretty sure they're getting ready to kick you off. Yo, homies! <laughs> well, don't make me bonk you in public. I'm pretty sure that it's never stopped you before. Oh yeah, I forgot. 
I love you, Diva. Giving a shout out to all your gangsters. Sorry, <laughs> gangsters. Okay, our first stop is by Farragonix uh, Living. Living. I was glad to see Glumwood Glen get some use during this contest. I really like that dimension too. Me too. It's a lovely one. I really like this path he's got going on here. Um, what is the, uh, robe you are wearing? It's mercenaries. Hmm. The cloth? Yes, yes. With everyone's favorite hat? I know. Love that hat. At least I think it's the mercenary's cloth. One second. Freelancers. Ah. Uh. Like this little so setup that he's got outside here, the the seating area with the with the big fire pit. using just the top of a snowy brazier. Oh yeah, that's cool. Little butterflies in the air. Something yummy's on the grill out here. Yep. Love, love, love this picture with the grapes. Yeah, me too. He left us uh he left us a pie. Fridge with all the bells and whistles. Yep. And another great picture over here. And the the store with the um the tracks and wheels. <laughs> Polly uh said uh oh I thought it was a carrot, the uh grape. Love this washer and dryer set, set too. The trove blocks had a pretty good showing on the, for this contest too. They did. That yes, is they true. Did. I noticed that, and they're an item I don't find it that easy to use, and people use them so well here. really like this shower he's got set up. And he's got light switches. Yeah. It's Lots of cool details. Yeah. I really like this, uh, the loft bedroom that he's got going on.
Yeah, I've decided that I'm just so lazy that even my house in the game has the clapper. <laughs> right? Just walk in and be like, clap, clap, everything comes on. It's not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> hmm. And where did you think I was going with that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> this is a family show. <sighs> I don't know. I think you've already ruined that. You've cussed at least twice. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm starting a quarter jar. I thought I was going to be the bad one. And that's Farragonix. And then next we're off to Home is Where the Hobbit is by Al and I. I really enjoyed this next build you're going to. Yeah. Love the facade of this house. Hobbit size whale, hobbit size lamp post, hobbit size bench, etc. Yeah, a lot of hobbit size furniture. And so cute. And more great wall art. Yeah, I really like this, uh, this picture this multi-frame picture. And this window seat here. So pretty. Yeah, I really enjoyed that uh, multi-frame picture set there. I think I stared at it for a couple of minutes and I was just like, wow, it just looks, it's so simple, but it looks so good. Mm-hmm. We got this little pantry back here, and all the round door frames uh, throughout. That's that's a pretty good, pr pretty good touch. Really awesome detail. And here's some more of your dominoes, Zap, like on the in the kitchen. Yeah, I re I really enjoy those dominoes. Yeah, they have a nice texture. Yeah, I agree. And especially when they um when they were released to us, they were pretty much very close to being the darkest um tile looking thing that we had. There we didn't have very many options for darker tiles and things like that, so Yeah. I like these gravestone shelves shelving things in here too. And I really like this little little fireplace that she made. Obzilla says you missed the skylight. Thank you. There's that cute little wine chest over there. Yep. I like how she used different banners around through this build. Like that one is of appropriate for a little wine area. Um, Prakali um, asks, how is that chair made at the desk? You know, I actually had to look this one up um, because I had never seen it before and it looks like it's a it's a, a, a stands item or maybe one of those ultra rare lockbox items because it's a like a Meridian Tavern chair or something like that. It's a 